Hi, so if you're a regular visitor to this channel, you know we pull apart stuff. And we pull apart stuff so we can get bits out of it. Because when you do that, you're left with an awful lot of excess. Things like this. I mean, this is obviously a CRT display, and it's got this on it, which is plastic. Now, that plastic is all over the place, actually. You see that in uh, desktop computers. Just about all uh, monitors have got this. This thing here has got a case made out of the same stuff. It's used for electronic enclosures and equipment all over. Now, it tends to be uh, one of two types, actually. It's either a styrene or it's ABS. ABS is the really popular one, and you find loads and loads of it about. Now, the cool thing about ABS is it melts at relatively low temperatures, and it's actually quite brittle. So what we're going to do is we're going to smash up the case from an old monitor. So there we go. Computer case, hammer, and... Smashes really easily. So we can turn that into chips, no problem at all. So after we smashed it up, we get a whole load of this stuff, and what we want to do is pelletise it. Now, I've got this thing, which is sort of a semi-industrial food processor. You just bung it in there and turn it on, and you will get... Aha! A load of this stuff, which is ABS chips. Now, I've got this, which is really cool. We could use a food processor. Don't use one with an acrylic... Uh, case on it. If you use an acrylic case in it, this stuff is actually quite hard and it's whizzing around at high temperature, at high speed, sorry. It will smash through your acrylic. So use a glass one or use a metal one. Don't use an acrylic one. Now that's the voice of experience. I broke my acrylic one, which is very disappointing. Anyway, spin it around in there until you pelletize it and that's the next step is once you've got those pellets you're ready to go. Okay, so now all we need to do actually is apply a little bit of heat. That's not a tremendous amount of heat. It's nothing more than a, a set of oven gloves are going to cope with, okay? But what we want is a hot flat surface. I've got here a piece of steel, and I'm a cheapskate because what would work best would be a clean piece of steel, and I've got this dirty piece of steel. So let's try and keep it clean, or put a bit of aluminium on there. And that's just to make a clean surface, okay? We really just want the hot steel. Now, if you got into this, of course, you could make moulds and with a fixed depths, that kind of thing. But all I'm doing is sprinkling a bit on there, because I'm going to make a block about, I don't know, 100mm uh, by 100mm. And just sprinkle it on. And you'll feel it actually getting sticky almost immediately. So it's had a couple of minutes. And you can actually feel it squidgy and that it is moving. So once you can feel that, it's time to get it into the press. So let's carry it over to the press. Okay, and then just press it down. Okay, there it is out of the press. Once it's cooled off a little bit, just peel it apart. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Unfortunately, I got a void. Bit of a shame. I should have paid more attention. But there is a sheet of ABS that we've remade from an old computer. Let's just give it a bit of a saw and square it up. So there it is. That's the material. As you can see, it saws really well. Uh, it's about a millimetre thick, something like that. So a very usable sheet of material. Okay, to be honest, I thought that was awesome and a really usable process. Obviously, we need a bit of practice with it. It's a little uneven and the millimetre is probably a little thin, but we know we can do it. I mean, clean steel, a mould, it's obvious it can be injection moulded. This is the stuff that's used in, um, I believe, in um, 3D printing, so pretty ubiquitous, pretty easy to use, gets soft at 80 degrees C. Now it is a plastic, so if you're worried about your health and safety, obviously you've got a number of choices, uh, well ventilated or just don't do it. Totally up to you. Me, I like doing stuff. If you're a bit worried about that, well, you know, protect yourself somehow. I suppose you could use a breathing mask and oxygen. But a really good process, I think, for reclaiming all of that stuff that we tend to throw away, and I'll certainly be making more of this and using this in up-and-coming models, and my plan over the weekend 
basically grind all that plastic up into chips and make some sheet and then I can use that sheet to making models. But I thought I would share that with you because I thought it was really quite interesting. Uh, I have heard of other methods incidentally. Melting at 80 degrees C you would immediately think well stick it in some water uh, and the water will soften it and yes it does but obviously you've got water in your plastic so when you try to press it into something it in fact doesn't hold together. So the water's a great idea in that it, it will soften the plastic and reduce the fuming. The only problem with it is getting to actually bond after that is a bit challenging. So a heated plate and a press seems to work a hell of a lot better in that it bonds together in a nice sheet. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do subscribe and thank you very much for watching.